How the freak? There's no way. You literally can't even get at it. This right here, totally unsecured, can touch the prop already. What the heck? I. Ugh. These are way too wide. They're cutting into my legs. Oh, that like tweaks your back and hangs like, it hangs like totally weird off your back and hey, smacks you. Look where the seat board is. It's literally down here in my leg. The flat top comes in literally at the base of your buttocks so you can run like the wind. It's like banging you in the back of the legs. Perfect. Last time I tested somebody's upgrade, I crashed and the flat top crumple zone had to save my life. You might want to tighten these. <laughs> that is ridiculous. This is like totally unsafe to fly. Never had that happen on a flat top. I hate these big sharp chunks of like stiff pad next to my neck. Oh, that ain't a flat top. It is uncomfortable. I feel like I got no lumbar support. The shoulder straps are kind of squishing me. It's like too short. And the seaboard is way too short. I can't get in the sea. Are you kidding me? I'm like slopping all over. Hanging way forwards. There's like no support on the front of my legs. Obviously, since it's two inches shorter, it doesn't really support your legs. But it feels like sitting on top of a huge ball, like a huge beach ball. Like it doesn't want to stay stable. It's like slopping, like you're constantly falling to one side or the other. It's just slopping around, like totally sloppy. There's no freaking way I would put a new student on this. No way. When people take off, it's very common for them to go throttle, off throttle. And if I let off throttle, it literally throws me to the left side of the unit and when I hit throttle, it slams me to the right side. Literally, my body is being thrown back and forth. Look at this riser, like, smash me in the face. It's literally just throwing me all over the place. Like, just wobbly, gobbly, sloppy, totally unbalanced. That is really weird. I mean, for a skilled pilot, you could get away with it, obviously, because you know what to do, but for someone new, it would be catastrophic nightmare. You're gonna freaking get them killed. Cause what's gonna happen is they're gonna hit the throttle, fall right, it's gonna torque right, and then the glider dies off to the right, they let out the throttle, and it shoots off to the left, diving them straight into the ground. That's exactly what's gonna happen with a new student. I mean, I've launched so many first time students, I know exactly what they do. Where the flat top is incredibly stable, it's just everything is perfectly designed. and tested and proven over years. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now this thing's not comfortable. Holy crap, it's like sitting on a beach ball. Like it's not stable. You're like slopping all over the place. Every time I let off throttle, I would slam into the left side riser. And when I hit throttle, it would literally throw me and slam me full force into the right side riser. And then you let off and it like slams you to the left side. There is no freaking way you could put a new pilot in this. It's literally like riding a beach ball. You're like constantly trying to fall off of center point. I gotta go fly a flat top real quick. Same thing, we're going full throttle, full off throttle. Full throttle, full off throttle. So much smoother rolling back and forth, like feels perfectly stable and automatically stable, where you let off and you smoothly roll back to center. It just like auto centers you. It wants to be stable, but if you lean, it will go. Flat 
top, baby. Yeah, the flat top just feels so much more stable and balanced and refined. They're similar designs, so they're sort of similar, but it's just not as refined as the flat top. The flat top balance is so much better and more stable, especially for a new pilot. It's critical because you, you're not getting slammed violently back and forth. The flat top also likes to stay upright as you, ex as you hit throttle. That one kind of pushes you up where the flat top pushes you forwards. As you hit throttle, it pushes you forwards where that unit tends to like pitch you up, which is bad because the P factor then also twists you to the side and gyroscopic precession hits because you're being pitched up because you have a lower thrust angle. It's not correct where the flat top pushes you forward. So you're staying upright in the harness but I couldn't really get comfortable in that harness because it doesn't really have the lumbar support. I mean, I got 11 vertebrae fused together, so the harness comfort is absolutely critical or I just would not fly if it's uncomfortable. There's no way I could fly that unit because it just, I can't get my lower back comfortable and the seat, especially with me being taller and long legs, having the seat shorter. And then this one is a bucket seat. You do feel more back in the seat, more reclined and just, more comfortable at a better angle is your Cadillac. Feels cush. That's like your $2 shoes at Walmart that are the wrong size, like a size, two sizes too small. That's how I would kind of describe it. It's not comparable. Genuine flat top, fake. Pretty much simple as can be. Just not as good.